Hey, lately we've been doing a lot of laptop videos, right? Just last week I made a video on Predator Helios Neo 16 2023 and in that video a lot of you people commented asking like, apart from these Vimal Bhai, can you also make some videos on affordable category, value for money laptop, especially for like programming purpose, coding or maybe you know like office sort of needs. And I thought, chalo, this is something you know like a request from my audience, I have to make a video on that for you people. So today in the house I have a very interesting laptop from Acer. This this is their all new 114 laptop and actually has like very interesting hardware at a reasonable price point. It is powered by Intel's 11th gen platform available in both i3 and i5 edition has like 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM, PCIe NVMe SSD is also there comes with like 1080p 14 inches IPS level display and all of this at a starting price of only around 28,490 rupees for the i3 edition. Chalo this looks like very interesting I'll have to make a video on that for you people and there you go the product is already in the house so without wasting any more time let's quickly get started with the unboxing and check out the product. Our brand new Acer 114 came in this sort of box packaging. Simple packaging, you just have the name of the brand and model mentioned over here. Let me just quickly give you a closer look at the main specs and highlights and talk about them. Acer 114 is available in different configurations. You have i3 edition, i5 edition is also there, comes with 8 and 16 GB RAM options. So it's totally up to you and your budget. The one we have right now is the i5 edition. It's powered by Intel's 11th gen i5 11 g 7 and comes with Intel Iris Xe graphics on board. You're getting a 14 inches 10 TP IPS level display has 16 GB DDR4 RAM and 512 GB PCI NVMe SSD. So that was our complete overview on the specs and configuration of the model we'll be checking out in this video. So quickly unboxing it, we have the brand new laptop at the top came nicely packed in this cotton sort of packaging and there you go boys our very first look at the Acer 114. Hey it actually looks pretty attractive right in this silver color. We'll just come back to the product in a moment. Along with that, in the package, you get a 65 watt compact power adapter for charging and a mains cord for the adapter. And yes, you're also getting some paperwork. Just make sure to read them for all the details. So that was our quick unboxing. Now let me give you like a closer look at the product and talk about the design and build quality part. Initial impressions, Acer 114 has a very clean and minimalistic sort of look. It comes in this silver paint finish and has a matte sort of finishing on the body. And good thing is the body doesn't even attract fingerprints guys. So over long term period rate, that is actually a plus point. If you look at the top lid, very clean design and actually business professionals or office going people prefer this sort of clean look. You only have the Acer logo on the left side on the top lid and that's it guys nothing else mentioned over here if you ask about the build quality build quality of the product is nice entire body is made of like polycarbonate material and definitely feels solid and durable if you talk about the thickness right here's how the side profile looks like it's roughly around like 0.85 inches in thick and weight is also reasonable guys laptop is only around like 1.49 kg so pretty portable i would say you can easily throw it in your backpack and carry it anywhere on the go now what i'll do is i'll give you like a closer look at the connectivity ports on this model and talk about them starting off from the left side you're getting a dc in port this is where you'll need to connect that power adapter for charging followed by a usb 3.2 gen 1 port is available and a full size hdmi port is also there so you can easily connect your projectors or maybe any sort of external displays and use the laptop and yes you're also getting a usb 3.2 type c port available also these are your status led indicators one for the power indicator and the other one is your charging status indicator and on the bottom side here you're getting a down firing speaker this one is your left channel speaker there is nothing much on the front side guys clean look i would say and on the other side you've got some more connectivity ports this one is your right channel speaker a micro sd card reader is also there to expand the storage and you're getting two usb type a ports one is your usb 2.0 other one is again a 3.2 gen 1 port and yes an rj45 ethernet port is also available followed by a 3.5 mm audio jack to connect your headphones and lastly a kensington lock so that's it these are all the available connectivity ports and here's how the bottom side of the laptop looks like as i've told you guys entire body is made of like polycarbonate material you've got rubber foot pads on all the corners and as you can see plenty of cutouts and vents basically your air intakes for airflow and air circulation and wait a second I haven't told you about the upgradability part right both ram and storage are upgradable on this model you're getting two ram slots and uh, different models are there you get 8 gb edition 16 gb edition is there ours is the 16 gb edition but you can even expand it up to 32 GB RAM also and talking about the storage part so you're getting one PCI NVMe SSD slot and one HDD slot in the PCI slot you're already getting like a 512 GB NVMe SSD so yes you can add in one more HDD storage up to 1 TB and expand the storage 
so that was basically our complete look at the exteriors part now let me just quickly open the laptop and show you how the interiors look like you're getting a two-tone color scheme with a mix of silver and matte black sort of finish and actually looks pretty nice for this price point talking about the upper half section you have the acer logo on the bottom and comes with a 14 inch display look at the bezels as well bezels are quite slim on the sides and the top but on the bottom you do have a bit of chin first of all let me tell you about the display on this particular model right you're getting a 14 inches full hd 1080p ips level display that too with an anti-glare sort of finishing we'll come and talk about the display in a moment once i power it on and set it up apart from that on the bottom you have the acer logo and followed by a 720p hd webcam to the top side and that too with a physical privacy shutter really have to appreciate acer for including that so that was about the upper half section move into the lower half section let me tell you about the keyboard and trackpad Acer 114 features a full-sized white LED backlit chiclet keyboard and quality of the keyboard is nice. I've been using it for the last few days and had a pleasant and overall comfortable experience I would say. Quality of the keys, keycaps, everything were nice, felt tactile and clicky and not only that, even the key travel was comfortable. And best part as I've told you guys, for this price point, Acer is actually offering a white LED backlit chiclet keyboard and brightness of this backlighting is also adjustable using the function key in two steps. And talking about the touchpad, touchpad quality is nice. It's a decently large size touchpad and it was easily recognizing all my inputs and gestures. I didn't face any sorts of dead zones also anywhere. And see, for this price point, you'll be happy with the touchpad and keyboard experience. Moving on, now let's finally talk about the main aspects of the product, starting off with the display and audio quality. So on board you are getting a 14 inches 1080p Full HD IPS level display and initially I was a bit skeptical, Matlab, it's a value for money affordable category laptop, na? how the display would be. But nothing like that, Acer has not compromised in this segment guys, in fact you are actually getting one of the best displays on a laptop around this price segment. No matter what sort of content you are watching, either it be web series, movies or even like YouTube videos right there is great amount of detail because you're getting like 1080p full hd resolution right crisp and clear text even on websites and if you talk about the colors colors are also nice and vibrant they haven't specified the color gamut range but i believe based on my experience it easily supports up to like 90 95 percent srgb color gamut profile and not only that it's very well color calibrated out of the box guys so i'll have to hand it out to acer for this and viewing angles are also great again thanks to that ips panel contrast levels are nice and black levels are also decent and overall brightness of the display was also pretty good i think it's around like 300 350 nits and it's like more than enough for your day-to-day -day sort of usage see on the overall now this is one of the best displays you can actually find on a laptop around this price segment and you'll be very happy and satisfied with the panel let me tell you about the speaker quality as well. You're getting down firing stereo speakers and audio quality was decent for this price point. Uh, all the dialogues were like clearly audible, vocal clarity was nice, though I felt they were a bit tinny. But again, it's an affordable category laptop. You cannot expect a lot over here. But TK, audio output was also loud and sufficient for your day to day sort of needs. So before we get into the performance, let's talk about the specs and hardware you're getting. Acer 114 is powered by Intel's 11th gen platform and our variant specifically has Core i5 1155 G7. This is a 4 core 8 thread CPU with a turbo clock of up to 4.5 GHz and comes with integrated Iris Xe graphics. Pair that with 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM and 512 GB PCI NVMe SSD, it's a good overall package for the price that you're paying. I've been using this laptop for the last couple of days doing variety of things like running half a dozen edge tabs open in the background some of them actually playing like 1080p youtube videos check in mails at the same time and even doing a bit of ms office related works everything was running smooth over here and i didn't face much of lags or stutters on a day-to-day -day basis good thing is not just your office related works it's powerful enough to even do a bit of creative works as well like photoshop or basic 1080p video editing without much of graphics or you know effects and stuff like that aram say it can handle one thing you'll need to keep in mind is this laptop doesn't come with ms office pre-installed that is something you'll need to install separately and crazy part i have to mention is this laptop is even capable of playing games like gta 5 as well thanks to that integrated iris xe graphics as you can see right now we are playing gta 5 at 720p resolution normal sort of graphics and on an average we were getting a consistent 75 fps guys had a smooth gameplay during the session and that too without any sort of lags or stutters playing at 1080p resolution is also possible but obviously frame rate would drop to somewhere around 35 40 fps on an average so just like this yes you can play casual and basic triple a title games but don't expect to play cyberpunk over here 
Anyways, if you ask about the overall thermals, thermal performance was nice. I didn't face any sort of heating issues anywhere and fan noise was also well under control. Finally, talking about the battery life, it packs a 45 watt battery and battery life was decently good I'd say. Using it at 50% brightness, browsing the web, watching a bit of videos on YouTube and also some office related works got me around 7.5 to 8 hours per charge. Well, that is pretty much it, our video on Acer One Laptop, great laptop for the price that you're paying. Especially if you're like a student learning programming or coding or even if you're like a business official, right? This can be a good choice for you. It's a full-on package is what I can say. You're getting good looking design, great 14 inches 1080p IPS level display and at the same time good performance as well. As I mentioned earlier, pricing of this model starts at only around 28,490 rupees for the i3 CPU and our i5 variant costs around 37,900. Rupees. Links for them will be available in the description box below. You can check it out there. So that's it. I hope you all enjoyed watching the video and got full information about the product. Make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel for more such awesome videos. And I'll see you all in my next one.